Hi, Tom Hall with Marine Service Center in San Diego, California. We are your Southern California and Pacific Northwest Juno sailboat dealer. And today I'm going to do a walk around video tour of a 2023 Juno Sun Odyssey 380 that we have in stock and ready uh, to deliver to uh, her new home. So uh, I'll include email address, phone number, and information about the boat here as we go. Uh, please contact me for any questions and for more information. All right, thanks for watching. All right, folks, here we have our 2023 Genoa Sun Odyssey 380. Uh, our stock number on this boat for reference purposes is 77418. And as you can see uh, by the labeling here on the on the hull, this is a performance version. So uh, it has the uh, classic slab reef main uh, mainsail with uh, full batten DCX laminate fabric for uh, both the main, which is also a, a square uh, square head main, and also a 110 jib uh, that is furling, and also the DCX laminated. Uh, sailcloth. You can see that the boat has full length hard shine. It also has twin rudders that you may be able to see here in the video. And they are, uh, th those are uh, canted out about 15 degrees. So when the boat gets powered up and heels over, it heels to about 15 degrees, sits on the chine. The chine keeps the boat from wanting to heel further over. And at that point, your lured rudder is vertical in the water. So it's very powerful. Uh, very stable. It uh, really pretty much eliminates rounding up and uh, also greatly limits uh, heavy weather helm. You still get nice light weather helm for great feedback. Uh, the boat sails incredibly well. You add to uh, the, the twin rudders and the full chine uh, the fact that we have what's been dubbed the scow bow, which is a more buoyant bow section, uh, and the, the bow stays up over waves. The deck stays drier, the boat slows down less. This does have the manually operated uh, lifting tailgate with storage here for a life raft and access over here to steering gear and also some storage area. Um, you can see that uh, she's got quite a large cockpit. Uh, some of the options that we've ordered on this boat being the performance pack, along with those sails that I told you about, it, it also has the uh, uh, composite lightweight composite uh, helm wheels which are really quite nice uh, also uh, we ordered the cockpit table for this boat so it's a very low profile table it's quite sturdy too so it works well for leaning against uh, and it stays out of the way if you want to race the boat um, the big thing about these uh, Geno Sun Odysseys is the walk around side decks that you see here uh, these really work extremely well not just for getting up on deck, which obviously they make it a lot easier to get up on deck, but also when you're standing and steering the boat, um, you have a really good, you have great options for where to stand. You can lean against the rail here. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, it lets you get over top of the winch here. If you stand, if you stand in the uh, side deck, you can get right down over the, uh, the primary winch for grinding gives you really good leverage uh, and then another cool thing about this is uh, when you're driving from over here on the starboard helm when you're gonna back the boat up you simply step around into the side deck facing aft and from there you've got great visibility everywhere you're steering the boat here and the throttle is right there so everything's right at your fingertips you're not trying to steer with your uh, you know with the wheel behind you or anything like that works out very well uh, This boat has the ocean electronics package from Ray Marine. So we've got a Axiom 9 chart plotter uh, over here on the uh, starboard side and then uh, We've got a multifunction display and uh, Autopilot over on the port hill this boat. We also ordered with the uh, uh, optional bow thruster and also the uh, chain counter uh, for the uh, chain counter and controller for the uh, anchor windlass. This is a two cabin boat. So we've got, uh, these, are, these are actually the helm covers. And then here we've got access 
to the garage. Uh, and when I open that from, from down below, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's a large garage area. Those are all cockpit cushions down there. We do have a complete cockpit, uh, cockpit cushion set here. Um, you'll see that this is a, a continuous line main sheet system. So the main sheet goes uh, down both sides of the cockpit and you've got uh, you've got two clutches on either side of the cockpit here just like this for your general sheet and your main sheet so you can trim and ease uh, the main from either winch which is really handy especially when you're single handed uh, we have ordered the electric uh, winch for the coach roof here and that is the halyard side so uh, makes it really easy to raise this mainsail walking forward again utilizing these walk around side decks makes it really easy to move up on the deck here You'll notice that there's non-skid everywhere on the coach roof. This is really important because you will be working up on the coach roof. So you want to have non-skid everywhere. You'll also notice that the gooseneck is very low. This is another innovation from Juneau where they wanted to keep the, the gooseneck low so that when you're on deck and you're rigging the uh, main halyard and things like that, uh, you know, reefing or um, uh, flaking the main that it's easy to reach. You don't have to climb up on any steps on the mast to get up there. Uh, it also adds a lot of uh, sail area down low here, which is nice. And this does have lazy jacks and a stack pack, as you can see in the video. Uh, moving forward, these are deck hatches for the forward head uh, and for the um, owner's cabin. You can see that we've got a nice bowsprit with a, a centered anchor. That's new of, as of, I, I think they made that change in 2021. They centered the anchor in the uh, bowsprit, and that's nice. Set up so that you, that you can run a code zero and or a, an ASIM. And we've got a very nice, large anchor locker with an electric windlass wired controller and as I showed you back at the helm we've got the uh, remote with the chain counter back there a couple of our premium commissioning things that you'll see uh, on our price build sheet that mentions premium commissioning uh, we do a couple things including wrapping these wires with a stainless steel sheath that protects those wires where they go into the mast. And then another feature of our premium commissioning is you can see on this lifeline terminal here that rather than using the standard clevis pin and ring ding, we replace those with a stainless steel bolt and barrel nut to really clean things up. We'll step down below. You can see that our companionway doors swing open and stay open magnetically very nice feature we've got a pretty shallow descent here just three easy steps down into the interior of the boat one of the things I find real interesting about the 380 is it's got massive standing headroom um, it's actually basically as tall as the standing headroom in the 490 which is uh, about uh, six six five six six so tall folks have plenty of room down here as i mentioned this is a two cabin one head configuration so we've got our guest cabin aft to port Nice big queen size bed down here that takes standard bedding so you don't have to buy any weird 
V-bird shaped stuff. You can see that we've got nice opening port lights, three of them in this cabin. So you get nice cross ventilation. We've also got a very nice hanging locker here. And cabinets that open here to give you some, some more storage too. And access to your, some of your electronics. Twelve volt fans in here as well, uh, and also uh, U USB charging ports in both cabins. Because this is the two cabin layout, we've got a huge separate shower here with a, a hang bar that goes here for uh, for hanging up wet gear. And then you've got that huge garage that I told you about with access from the cockpit. So if you needed to, you could actually throw some cushions in there and have extra sleeping space. This is the uh, gray cedar interior with the light oak flooring. galley area with a very nice large top load refrigerator and freezer this boat does have the excellence package on it which includes the wine storage under the floorboard aft head nav desk with the Raymarine Ocean package uh, we've got the um, VHF that does already have an AIS transceiver installed so you apply for your number and can get your AIS set up so that everybody sees you on their chart plotter and you see all of them uh, we've also got the fusion sound system very nice sound system. Again, 12 volt fans, Scott's lighting, as well as indirect lighting. Large deck hatch with both a sun blocking shade and a screen. That's the way all our deck hatches are set up. Uh, this table is the standard saloon table. Uh, it pops out and there's a panel down there that uh, that folds up and that's a filler pad to make to turn this into uh, kind of an extra lounge space and then you've got this nice long chaise lounge sofa that's plenty big enough for someone to sleep on moving forward between the double doors into the forward cabin nice big queen size bed I mentioned USB and 110 volt uh, charging ports that are in the cabins and two nice hanging lockers. There you have it, folks, our 2023 Juno Sun Odyssey 380. Contact me, Tom Hall, for any questions you have and for extra information. Thanks for watching and have a great day.